Hi. So, we are on day 10, I think. Me and Sean came down with the funk. I was thinking that it was just sinuses. The kids are fine. Kids have great immune systems. Thank you, Lord, for that. But me and Sean did have severely stuffy noses. And to each other, we sounded goofy when we talked because we just... It sounded like we were just talking straight out of our nose. Still a little bit lingering, but feeling 100% better. But anywho, I wanted to start this video out because... We so kindly received a gift in the mail, and I just think it's awesome. I am terrible with yarn. Bear with me here. Where are you coming from? That took me a little longer <laughs> than I thought it would. So, look how precious, you guys. We are adorable. I love that. I did not even know that was a thing and could be done, but that is just beautiful. So, I will be sitting there on my desk. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Kimberly. I love this. And this little beauty will be taking its place right there. <clears throat> You're in my office space. No, I'm in mine. You're in my area. No, I'm not. I'm in mine. So I told him You're we had, over there. me and you had been down with the funk for a week and couldn't talk. And it sounded like we were talking out of our noses. Mm -hmm. But now we are day 10. Finally better doing good. Going to Dollywood Friday. Good Seeing fun. how... Um, both of us forgot our anniversary. I remembered first and pranked Sean. Happy anniversary! Oh. Anniversary! You didn't remember. Someone said happy anniversary. You guys, he gets, look how offended. Because you forgot too. It kills him. He forgot our anniversary. I figured he'd have to come back in here and say something on that one. But anyhow, we are taking a day trip to Dollywood Friday. Sean's mom is going to come watch the kids for us. We have never in, see, we are married. This was our, this is our seven year anniversary being married. We've been together for 12, uh, going on 13. But we've never done anything for our anniversary. So we're going to go have a mom and dad day trip and... Go to Dollywood for a couple hours. It's only about a two hour and 45 minute drive for us. So we're going to leave super early so we can be back by the time the kids are ready to settle down and get ready for bed. Spend a minute with them. But I'm super excited. I mean, who wouldn't be? It's Dollywood. Speaking of Dolly, we are going to be making this one, the Southern Style Banana Cake. But we're doing it a little different. We're not doing icing. We're going to kind of do like a poke cake. We've got um, the vanilla wafers that you guys will see that later. Anyhow, you get the gist of it. You guys, this is completely random, but I feel like it's worth talking about. Our electric bill. Now, mind you, we pay two electric bills because of the shop and here. Our electric bills for the last two and a half, three years have been four to five hundred dollars a month. It doesn't matter. Summer winter, it don't matter. Fall, spring, that's what they run. I went online and checked our bill last night. For here, it was $290. I told Sean, I'm like, this almost feels like a weird joke because I can't believe it. I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. We changed nothing. I can't believe our electric bill dropped. That's amazing. It just kind of makes me like, why now in all these years we've been paying that high of a bill? Hey! Um. What you want, boo? No. What? What you want in the camera? You probably shouldn't. Oh no. Good morning. Hey! Hi. Her hair, you guys, is in that stage to where it hangs just in her eyes. Where are you going? Where are you going? But it hangs just enough in her eyes it drives her and me crazy. I can't wait till it gets to the point I can put it behind her ears because she won't leave a clip in her hair. So I have to put it behind. Ah, don't you two do it. I'll referee. You ready to do a little schoolwork? You got an hour. Okay. A whole hour. Not ten minutes. You have an hour. Got it? Okay. What's up? Did you grab his pre-treatment for me? I 
I know I'm not alone, I can't help myself. Finally got the mini split in yesterday. Set on 72 degrees. And you can see it's just a little above 60. Works phenomenal. So I guess little mama told you we've had the funk, but it's been weird. Like I don't know how to explain it. I've had a congested nose and chest, but I've got energy like you wouldn't believe. I cleaned off the carport. I got the mess in the backyard cleaned up, cut the tree out, cut all the grass. Timbo come down, help me weed eat. Like I've had all this energy and not to mention me, little mama and the kids have eat everything in the house. Megan was up at like 9 30, 10 o'clock the other night sweeping and mopping because she couldn't sit still. The kids was like nuclear ping pong balls. They was bouncing off the walls, but we just had a runny nose and a congested chest. It's really weird. But now we got the mini split in. I need to get these out of the window. Man, you're noisy. I am so glad to have those window units gone. I am excited though for our anniversary trip. Me and little mama's talked about it for like over a month. Going down there, she's wanting to go to Crockett's and eat breakfast. That's her favorite place to eat. So we're gonna swing on down there first. We're gonna take y'all with us. And it works out going better on our anniversary because there's just not as many people at Dollywood in, you know, mid September. Probably gonna go down Friday. That way, most of the kids and people will be in school, so the amount of people in the park will be a lot lower. So we'll be able to film a lot better video because there won't be so many people roaming around. Maybe take in a couple shows, ride stuff more than once. What are you laughing about? I'm just picturing you getting there and it'd be packed. Nah, it won't and be And you're going to be like, it's the worst time of year. Listen, if that's the case, I'll get me one of them like speed pass things. That way you can... Schedule instead of, your, instead of two hours, you're staying in an hour and 45 minutes. No, you schedule your ride time down there. Oh, you were You've got a certain time between, you know, it'd be like 10, 10 30 that you can get on this ride and you just walk up, you get on, you ride it, you get off. It's extra, but I mean, so you don't waste a day. But usually at Dollywood, if you hit everything early and you do it in a certain pattern, you can get through all the roller coasters within like an hour and a half. Listen, don't bust my bubble, buddy. Everybody will be in school. Want to go see where the trees moved? Come on. Let's go. Get your buns over here. Would you get out of my clothespins? Okay, you got this? Let's go. Let's go jump jump. Listen, it's about time to give the pappy up. Yeah, it is. So this finally happened, you guys. Oh, it's been since the flood. So I think July 22nd or the 28th, I can't exactly remember. Sean and one of his friends yesterday cut a path at least to where we could get back here and cut the grass and weed eat. Sean could start burning this tree out and all of that. And we still have that. But now that he can get up here and cut grass and stuff, he's just going to, little by little, once this gets burned out, cut a little bit more up, burn the rest of it. Yay! Uh, All right. Mommy didn't have to lift you up, huh? What'd you find? You got daddy's glasses. Let me look. Wow, so cool. Right. <laughs> the sun. Is that the sun? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to see it, huh? Ready? Here I go. Whoa! Did 
you do it too? Girl. Oh, you had to come in, huh? You just had to. I can't pair her without you coming in. Dog! Dog, is that your dog? You guys watch him. He knows. He lost the key. And he knows Sean starts it with that now. What is that? Bye bye bye. Where are you going? Bye bye. You gonna cut the grass? Well, I believe you might need daddy's help to do that. I don't think Sean has showed you guys yet, but look. He could not wait to get the mums planted. He got both of our big planters by the carport planted for me, he said. Where are you going? What is the problem? Huh? Yeah. Did you think we were leaving you? Yeah. No, we're not going bye-bye. <laughs> we're not going... <laughs> We're not going bye-bye. Ready? One, two, three. Go, go, go. Run fast. He found his little car that no longer works. But he discovered it hiding up here. It's been a minute, huh? That was your very first one. Are you going to pocket my turtle? <gasps> turtle! Turtle, yes, that's a turtle. You know, you're only one years old. You act like you're three. Say, giddy up, turtle. Go to town. Giddy up, turtle. Don't fall down. <laughs> Her poor little head. Look, her and Colton head butted a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> get him, sis. I keep asking her, where are you going with your purse? There's clothespins. <laughs> she is obsessed with my turtles. Especially the ones she can pick up. <laughs> Give me that one. Get it, sissy. She's straining. That one's too big. Mama can Blow barely it. lift that one. <laughs> That's heavy. Get it for me. Get it. Get, Get it. the turtle. Give me the turtle. Can you pick it up? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't no picking you that want turtle this up. One? You guys, our crawl space. Now, y'all know we just bought this house in last November, not even a year ago. We don't know what's in it. It's a liquid for sure. It could just be. I mean, it's got a hole in the top of it. I don't know. There's two more right there. I was seeing the water got under there and it pushed a bunch of debris up. So I was trying to clear out right here, but apparently it pushed these up. And you can tell it's really old. Not quite sure what it is or how old it is, but who knows. It could just be water had gotten in it through the cap where it was submerged. What do you think this is? Open it and find out. Oh, I don't think. You come smell the lid. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> Where did it go in? Hurry, Sisa, hurry! <laughs> Where are we going? I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting here. Where are we going? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, Sisi. <laughs> you are so cute. Beep. You're so handsome. Beep. That's you. Let's see if Daddy can even get it started. Are you kidding me? It would not start for me. <laughs> Sean just took the babies for a ride, so I have two minutes to myself. So I figured I would talk to you guys about the website. This weekend, we are going to be launching fall designs very soon. I'm not gonna say 100% by this weekend because me and Sean are going to Dollywood Friday for our anniversary, the first time ever in seven years. We're going to do something together for our anniversary. I just got swarmed by cats. Hi. 
but we are fixing to launch our fall designs. We are going to have one color of shirt we have never carried on the website. Here's the key with that though. It's only gonna be one design on that shirt. That way I can pre-order the shirts and make sure that they are in stock. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-order what I think we will sell. That way we don't have to worry about the shirt being out of stock because this is a very popular color. Sean, we got designs going right now. He is working on. I'm color matching some sweatshirts hoodies long sleeve t-shirts and t-shirts to some of the other designs the one color of shirt that i'm looking at that i want to go with one print like i said it's just going to be that one print on that one color of shirt because of availability of that color but i'm excited these will be able to roll all the way through some of them year round they're cute they're fall but some of them you could absolutely wear year round i just figured i'd let you guys know that fall designs coming up on hillbilly's apparel within the next few days after you see this are you patiently awaiting your babies y'all she has not moved since they pulled out on that side by side and she won't move probably until they get back was it a good time <laughs> get him out of that seatbelt. You have let her eat a blue crayon. Where did she get a blue crayon? I don't know, but she did. Hey, don't go hide. Thank God they're non-toxic. <gasps> you and everything going in your mouth at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's their new thing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Good thing he's got sweatpants on. <laughs> Abu! Got him again. <laughs> She's hollering for the dog. Go, go! Here she comes. Look, Cece, there's Coco. Is it your puppy? Go, Zoe! Good job, Zoe. Listen, I have been looking at this for about a week now, and I've been thinking, Dolly's banana cake would be all right with icing, but that just seems kind of boring. Let's make this a banana pudding cake. Take the cake, a couple large things of vanilla pudding, a couple nanners, and the Cool Whip. I'm not gonna share the details of the cake. If you buy the cake, it, the recipe's on the box. You know, I was going to say it's a shame we've been here this long and we don't have a cake mixer, but I just figured out we do. Oh, You're our cake mixer. I am. Cool Whip in the big bowl. Vanilla pudding. Blend this all together. That's the topping. Then take this, put it in the refrigerator. Not the cakes out of the oven, just treat it as a poke cake. Now you wanna take you a couple bananas. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is how you open a banana. From the butt, not the stem. Now that you got your cake with all your holes in it, put all your pudding Right on top of the cake. Now that you got your pudding on there, start tiling your bananas on. Got to tell you to take and crush you up some vanilla wafers. Now that you got your vanilla wafers crushed up, sprinkle your layer on top of your bananas. All right, now that you got that layer done, take your whipped cream and pudding. Add you another little sprinkling of the crushed vanilla wafers, and there you have it. Is this mean? It's not mean. You guys, both of our kids go to sleep with a teddy bear. This is the first time we prank the kids. Take them in the bedroom. Daddy's got a surprise for you. Are you excited? Come back. Cece, say hi. 
Like I said, I just wasn't feeling icing for this. I said, we need to do something a little different. So we tried this. We'll let you know how it is. Oh, look at that. That looks scrumptious. If, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks delicious, y'all. It's a banana pudding. I thought you was coming in here to get your bites. Oh, my God, how is it? It was good. What it you tastes think, just buddy? like banana pudding, mm. but with a little bit of cake in it. See what kind you of concoction I come up with here. You want bite, baby? Mm. Well, come here. No. You don't want, he ain't into banana. Mm. That is good. If that sits in the refrigerator overnight. Let like the cookies get a little softer. Tomorrow, this is going to be a cake you can't sit still to eat. Your, I mean, your tongue's going to slap your brains out every time you take a bite. Okay, you're getting a little erotic. Mm. 